Hey everybody, Monta Fox here. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Wow, look at this snow. Snowing like crazy out here. Up here on this bridge. Still standing next to Gold Mask and poor tortured brother Corin here. <laughs> so, uh, I after the last episode, I did consider going online to see what I should do here. Should should I give brother Corin this tonic of forgetfulness or whatever it is we have or should I not do it I ultimately did not go online to look why didn't I do it well mostly because I got busy and forgot about it but also I don't know man um I don't know what to say I um I guess part of me feels like if I was paying closer attention to the lore I might feel more comfortable with the decision that I would make here uh, but even if I had been paying more attention to the lore, I still don't, I'm still not sure I'd know what to do. And I feel like if I went online and, and used what I found online to make my decision, it would kind of be cheating in a way. It would kind of be like seeing into the future. My character can't see into the future. He doesn't know what's going to happen. So I decided <laughs> that it's best not to look it, look it up. So what are my thoughts here? Brother Corrin, he's, he's tortured here because Gold Mask is saying, you know, through his digital calculations, uh, things that um, really kind of seem to go against what the Golden, Golden Order stands for. So Brother Corrin's like, crap, what do I do? Do I do I just blindly, well, maybe not blindly, do I just continue to follow Gold Mask, even though he's saying things that are against everything that I believe in? Or, I don't know, I mean, is Brother Corrin thinking of killing him because of this blasphemy? I don't know what Brother Corrin's thinking. But we have this tonic that we could give to him, and he it will, it will make him forget what he's learned, this blasphemy from Gold Mask here. <sighs> um, I think I'm going to give it to him mostly because... If for no other reason than uh, nice to see you. Oh, do you need something else? Uh, mostly because, um, if if a game gives me an option to do something, more often than not, I'm going to do it just because I want to see what happens. Whereas if I don't give it to him, then you know, will anything ever happen? If I give it to him, something will most probably happen. So let's go ahead and give him the tonic of forgetfulness and see what happens. What? is this it will make me forget you say so that i can push aside these frightful thoughts <laughs> what that i could what that i could hmm okay so is he going to decide whether to take it or not it will make me forget you say okay so that i can push us <laughs> what that i could all right well Well, maybe we'll check back with him later. May the golden order shine through you. And see if he ultimately decides to do this or not. Of course, Gold Mask isn't going to say anything to us. We don't know how to read his digital calculus. Here's where we are on the map. Just south of Stargazer's Ruins. We're going to go over here and explore this area here. And then, it looks like there is a bridge that'll take us back over here. Maybe we'll go across here so we're close to this. Because remember, there were all these, like, giant ghostly skeletons that were popping up. Made it tough to get through there, so maybe we'll take a different approach. So we'll just kind of slowly jog our way across here. Uh, over there in the distance, I see an enemy. It might be another demi-human. I just saw one on the other side of this uh, rock here. You get something you want to say to me, buddy? Huh? Huh? You get something you want to say? Let's two-hand this thing. Oh, pfft, nice move, dude. Oh, look at these guys. I love their glowing red eyes. Shut it. It's an item over here. Let's go pick it up. Golden Rune 10. 
Not gonna say no to that. Um, from here, it almost looks like I could drop down from here. There might be a place to walk there, but I mean, how 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 can I know for sure unless I just try it? But if I try it, uh, I'm still I, I mean, I keep saying this. Uh, there's got to be a site that I've missed because if I were to die right now, it would take me all the way back here, and I would have to ride all the way down here again and all the way back over here again, and I don't know, back over here and find the. Spirit Spring or something. I mean, good gravy. It's a long way, so I don't really want to do anything that's going to end up killing me. It doesn't look like there's anything down there anyway, does it? I don't think there is. Yep, there's the site way down there. And then there's the vendor. The merchant right there. <laughs> um, Alright, let's just move on here. Ooh, but first let's go around here and see if there's anything over here. There's not. So it suggested that... Oh, can I get out of here? Well, that's kind of interesting. I guess I need to hop on all torrent here to get out. Um, it was suggested that if I was going to be doing jump attacks, that maybe I should uh, equip the claw mark seal. And uh, I like suggestions like that. But I don't know what the claw mark seal looks like. Where's the claw mark seal? I might not have it. You know, there's a possibility that I just simply don't have it. Um. Well, maybe I, uh. Maybe I don't have it. Shoot. It's kind of looking like I don't, huh? Well, I have to go back and read that comment again, because the comment told me where to get it, but I don't remember where it was, because I just assumed that I already had it. Apparently I don't have it. Hm, that's surprising to me. We'll just leave that thing on right now. Another one of these dudes here. I hear one to my right as well. Up. Oh. Oh, man. Huh. I think he hit me. Ooh, spiked club. That's new. Let's check that out real quick. A club with beast fangs wrapped around the striking end. The uneven spread of fangs causes blood loss. Given only to the toughest of demi-humans, this weapon is a badge of honor, or so the demi-humans believe. And there it is. Pretty cool looking, I think. I also think that this, this whole outfit is pretty cool looking. I really like it. So, we know darn well that this weapon this uncharged weapon is not going to do much in the way of damage. Yet, I still am wielding it. Because I'm stupid. I don't know, I just want to swing it. Once or twice before uh, we move on. Although, that guy looks pretty... You know what? I don't think that's somebody that I want to mess around with. This guy. What's this dude? What's his story? Pretty scary looking. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch back to my real weapon here. Lots of these dudes jumping around over here. Time that or space that well. Oh, he's a big dude. Oh, 
Ouch. Whoa. Took a big chunk out of me. Was that him... dying? Growling as he died there? That was weird. Huh. Let's see, where are we? We're going right down the middle of this place. Okay. What am I looking at over there? We're looking back over this way to another place we haven't been to yet. Okay. Well, this is getting interesting. I'm going to see more of those uh, marionette dudes, maybe? Oh, okay. Oh, goody. All those nasty dogs over there. And then we've got... Oh, it's like a big giant skeleton. We saw a, a head like that earlier, but I didn't realize it was part of a, of a whole body. Holy cow. And this really evil looking castle here. You can see there's an enemy right there, right in the center of the screen, just to the left of that door. Looks like we gotta go through a bit of a gauntlet to get there, but we'll worry about that when we get there. So here we're running towards... Well, I see a structure, but I fear it's actually here and not here. We may not be able to get to it from where we are right now. Uh-oh. A little arch just showed up there. Okay. Well, that means we may need to pull in some help. And, um... Who would we want to pull in for help here? Maybe... I don't know if I ever pulled this guy in before. Try that. If I need to. Let's just go. Yep, sure enough. So that structure we can't get to right now, unfortunately. This area here is kind of starting to look like a whole big bunch of nothing. And it makes me wonder why that arch showed up just a moment ago. Because there is nothing out here. Oh, it was there for just a moment, and then it went away again, the arch. Okay, so we've made our way back over here to this bridge. There is a site over there. Oh, we know about that site. We've been there before, the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. And we've got some kind of camp. Is there a snail down there? In the snow? Okay. <laughs> Just throwing all kinds of enemies at us. Sure, snow snails. That makes sense. So I had said that maybe I would go across this bridge, but... I haven't really... I don't feel like I've really finished exploring this area. Oh, here's one of these, um... I don't know what you call this. This thing right here. Oh, my nerd tree. This tells me... That there is going to be an enemy of some sort here. And um, I didn't watch the video, but I remember a long time ago seeing a video that talked about these things and said that there is some kind of in-game purpose for them. But like I said, I didn't watch the video, so I don't know what the purpose is. But I am a little nervous now. A little worried that uh, I'm going to get attacked here. So we found a minor Erd tree. It's uh, not in very good shape. And here comes... A, um, dude. Here 
are going to fight an Erdtree Avatar here. Oh gosh, it took a lot of my health. That took a bunch of his health. Where's, where's my... Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. There goes my friend. Great. That's not good. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, this, this is going to shoot things. Oh, what the hell? Ah, crap. Two of them. I think I'm gonna back off a cliff here. Oh crap. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh I did it! That's <laughs> just what I was afraid of. <laughs> oh man. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> look how look where we are. Um So we know there's a merchant up there. But pretty sure we can't get up there from here. Right? I mean, that's a jump that even Torrent can't make. So... Yeah, we're not gonna get up there from down here. I was just kinda curious to see. Since I'm here, I figured I'd give it a try. Yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do instead is we're gonna go here. This is much closer to where we just were. We'll go here and cross the bridge from here. Go back over there, pick up our runes, try this fight again. Um, should I try a different um, helper? Because that helper was useless. Bloodhound Knight, not, th not the right helper for this battle. So instead, what if we use like, well, I was thinking if you're gonna use Fire Monk Ashes because of fire, but he's not upgraded at all. And I kind of hesitate to use somebody who's not upgraded, but I do like the idea of some using fire, right? What do you say we, we upgrade this guy? Let's see if we can't... Oh, crap, I don't have any runes. Whatever. Uh, let's let's upgrade this guy, because I'm actually thinking that might this might be a good time to uh, use him. So, obviously, we're going to need some runes. This is not the right place to go. Okay. Um... Let's just go in here and use a bunch of runes. I don't know how many I think we'll need. 15,000? Probably more than that. Let's see how much that gets us. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Spirit tuning. All right, where are the... These guys. Wow. Wow, I did not expect this. I hate to put more into him. I mean, what if he sucks and then I've spent all this, these resources into uh, this one guy? I mean, these guys I don't have anything into. Mad Pumpkin Head, I haven't used him. And then, uh, seven, four. Fanged Imp. So there's some that I could still do more to. Um, noble sorcerer spirit, five one. I mean the FP cost of these guys is so low. I can't. Well, look at that, eleven. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. 
them in there and just because I can. Oh, good lord, even more? <laughs> I don't want to put more into this guy. All right, fine, I'm done. All right. Greetings. Is there anything new to say? You here for nope, nothing for new for her. And then we come over here. Well, I don't have any runes now, but let me see here. Um, well, I took you, my man, to lay out your arms. So, strength and armament. In order to strengthen this thing, I need a somber ancient dragon smithing stone, which I do not have. So I can't upgrade this thing anyway. I could upgrade my claw mark seal. Wait a minute. Claw mark seal. Oh, is that the thing that I read the comment about? Um, I don't know. Let's get out of here. Let's go back. So we're going to go back here. And then we will, um, we'll see if these fire monk dudes do anything against this tree. I mean, you would think that fire would do something against a tree, but this game always surprises me. And not always in a good way either. By that I mean, it seems logical to me that fire would uh, hurt a tree, but uh, oftentimes things that seem logical to me uh, don't necessarily that crap don't necessarily uh, make sense in this game world. Are these stupid? Snails rolling after me all the way across this bridge? No, I think they give up. Yeah, they did. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, my runes are over there. Let's go get my runes. Okay, and now I'm gonna fight this guy again. Alright, fire buddy. Get in here. Oh man, he just goes in. Oh jeez, that was terrible. That was, oh, I still got him anyway, surprisingly. We're just gonna try to do this as much as possible. Well, thankfully this attack also works when he's in the air. Oh, I'm out of FP. Oh. Oh crap, this business. Okay, two of him. I don't I don't know if it matters which one I attack. Does it matter? Oh, okay, I thought I was far enough away from him. Apparently I wasn't. back away before he gets a good hit on me and I regret it. Okay, he got a good hit on me there. Oh crap, here comes another hit. Oh crap, and I'm out of FP. Oh gosh, he's so close to being dead. It sucked to die right now. Okay. That's kind of fun. Use my special skill. <laughs> they both die. Nice. 84,000. That's a lot of runes, man. Ooh, Cerulean Crystal Tear. And a Crimson Bubble Tear. Huh. Okay. Let's check those things out. Those are... What are they? I don't know what category they're in. They are key items. Uh, so this Cerulean Crystal Tear restores half of total FP and mixed physic. Crystal Tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. 
can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction restores half of one's maximum FP. And then this one, the crimson bubble tear, a crystal tear formed slowly over the ages where the earth tree's bounty falls to the ground, can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction, concoction automatically heals one's HP in the moment before death. However, this effect only occurs once and will expire after a certain duration. Interesting. So it's like a do-over. Kind of. Huh. Alright. Well. It's always fun to... Survive a boss battle. So here... This is kind of interesting. There's like a little area down here. Here, big dude walking around down there. This is so cool looking. And over here, get some good old them humans. Oh man, I love it when I get flasks. It's the best. Is there anything down here? the edge, dude. Nope, you're not going to. Oh. Ouch. Oh, crap. I could be afraid of this guy. Oh! Nice. Okay. Satisfying. Were you protecting something over here, dude? Is there anything cool over here? No? Nothing? Huh. Well, I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could drop down there on that, but I'm not sure I could get back. Even with Torrent, I'm not sure Torrent could jump this high. Hmm. Is there a reason to drop down on that? It's hard to say. I feel like that's... It's just a one-way trip. But on the other hand... I'm almost like... Why does the game let me go down there? Doesn't look like there's anything there. Right? I don't think there is. Alright, just a... Bunch of nothing down here, really. Why do I feel like there should be more to an Erd tree, like an underground part, or is am I crazy for thinking that? I'm not seeing anything though. Though I don't know if I'm doing a real good job of looking. This area is not that interesting, I don't think. There's not really a whole lot here to see or explore, I don't feel like. That looks cool. How did I miss that? When I was looking at this before, I didn't even notice this... Whatever that is. Got a big bowl up there with a chain attached to it. The hell is that? That's pretty bizarre. Hm. Alright. Well, that was fascinating. But this area here... Meh, just a bunch of rocks and snow and dead trees. So... Oh, there's still another enemy over here, though. Is 
there anything over here? God, doesn't look like it. All right. Another one yells somewhere. Oh, here they all come. I really don't want to fight all these guys at the same time. Ouch. Oh, we got him, but not after he did some damage to us. That was a nice spin attack there, dude. I find the poke attack with this weapon hilarious. It's got this big blunt end to it, yet it has a poke attack. You know, another thing about this area is that it's so white that it's hard to see items, you know, because the items, they, they kind of have that white glow above them. Pretty sure we've already been over there. Okay, so here we are back at this bridge, right? So this whole area over here... Yay, we fought the... The Erd Tree, dude. Uh, I've rested a couple times, so... Let's go over here and see if Brother Corrin has said anything or... Changed his mind. Say, hey, buddy, you okay? It will make me forget, oh, okay. you say. All right. So that I can push aside the. <laughs> we'll drink it already. I could. Okay. Bye. The golden order shine. Yeah, thanks. Drink that thing I gave you. Okay, so now we're back over here. Okay, so we've been here. So I guess I want to go straight across and go across here. Yeah. So this... I've already been to those ruins to the right. I don't think we need to go there again. This... This is going to be a problem. I'm not really sure what to do over here. Because this is where... Here's one right here. These giant dudes here. I mean, can I even fight them? Does he have a health bar? He does, and it's huge. Okay, dude, you can hit him or not? Okay, so now he's kind of disappeared. Well, not even kind of. He did disappear entirely, so... Where'd he go? Oh, he... I'm just gonna wail on him as much as I can. Oh, man. I missed my chance. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Come on, come back. This is a weird fight. This is a very strange fight. Anymore? What is this health bar? Okay, we almost got him. He's almost dead. So do I have to do this to every one of these guys? It's pretty annoying. Okay, he's gone. Let's see, do I get any runes? So I didn't see any runes, so that tells me that this is a waste of time. And it also makes me think that there's someone or something around here that is actually controlling them or summoning them. And that's what I need to focus on. Unfortunately, I don't know what that thing is. So, I rode through here before on the horse, and it was just a bunch of those dudes popping up. So, why? I, I mean, I don't know. Is there like any kind of destination over here that's interesting? Looks like there's maybe a ramp up here that I could get up to this building, maybe? I 
Or maybe... Okay, so we got another one of these guys showing up, and I just... Just don't know if there's any reason to fight him. We've got a stake over here, which is a bit concerning. You could hear the walking mausoleum down there. So yeah, what an interesting place for a stake. Man, I can't look at my map. Huh. Okay, well this is a bit of a dead end there now, isn't it? Well, there's a site down there in front of that castle, so you can see it. Wow, that's a cool looking castle. It's big. Oh, I still can't look at my freaking map. I just want to look at my map. So, um, okay, we got this guy here. Get out of here. So, I'm really just, I just want to run past all these guys. I don't get any runes for fighting. Holy hell, that hurt. Um, well, there's one up there. Still can't look at my freaking map. Oh, the beast eye's quivering again. Does that mean there's like a... Not sure what. Another one here. There's a... S oh, these are just some ruins up here, aren't they? Yeah, we're not going to find anything here. Beast Eye Quivers. Beast Eye Quiver is about halfway up this hill. We got a snail dude over here. You know, sometimes these snails do some pretty freaky things. I don't know if they're responsible for the um, skellies or not. You son of a gun. I actually thought, I really thought that was a hill. rock rolling down that hill. Nicely done, sir. At least I got some flaskage from that. That's always nice. So the beast eye quivers. Reminds me, I need to go back to Grank, don't I? Whatever his name is. I have a, one of those things to give to him. So looking to see if there's any anything alive over here that could be responsible for those skellies. It could be the um, snails, I guess. Oh, there's another one over there. There's a bunch of them over there. So if I go riding back down here again. Skeletons come back. Oh, here's an item. Number 10. Yep, so they're all coming back. Now, I wanted to see if this beast eye would quiver again. I could make any sense out of this. Oh man, well, they hit hard. There's so dang many of them. This is ridiculous. I want these items. Um. So is the beast eye not going to quiver anymore? And. Will this skeleton come back? The one here. Kind of looking like no, huh? So at least... 
when I take out a skeleton, he doesn't come back, at least not in this life. When I rest again, they'll probably come back again, but... I mean, do I really have to go here and fight all these dudes? Because what a pain in the butt. see an item on the ground there, though. Let's go get it. And a golden rune. I mean, look at these, these guys. There's so many of them. Oh, another snail, dude. A bunch of them. Oh, that was interesting. Ouch. Ouch. skeletons are still there and this thing isn't telling me about the beast eye quivering anymore either oh look at this there's a way down from here That's somewhat interesting if I go down from here this oh, okay hmm. so it's just gonna take me oh, I can't look at my freaking map I didn't notice this before, but I don't think this is a way up. This is only a way down. Man, I'm gonna fight all these guys. Jeez. Well, um, especially when there's so damn many of them. Hey, look at this. to get caught on. They hit me again. Yeah, this sucks. I don't know what the secret is here. Human bone shard. Should I run through here and see if there's any items? Um... I don't know, I'm just so frantic. I could be totally missing out on things. Alright. I don't know. Not really digging this area very much. It's not my favorite. It's a bunch of bunch of nothing. Tells me the beast eye quivers. But what does that mean, really? What am I supposed to do about it? I'll need you. I'll. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh jeez. Alright. Could it be this guy over here who's responsible for this? This caster dude? Well, like a... Could, could it be him? Do I need to hit him again? I think I do. Get out of my way, jerks. Oh, crap. Okay, I got some runage for that. You guys are getting on my nerves. Is it possible that that caster dude was responsible for the skeletons? But if he was, I would have expected to get one of those death root things from him. Well, that's disturbing. Well, 
let's see what happens if we go back this way, see if anything has changed. Did I just get some runes? That's, um... Maybe up here? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if they come back. They do. Okay. All right. Well, so much for that. All right. Well, I've had enough of this crap. Um, like I said, not my favorite area. Maybe if I had any idea of what's going on and what to do about it, it might not be so bad. But right now, it's just pretty annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rest at this site. I've only got three flasks, so I think it might be smart to rest. Get my flasks back. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. We'll come back next time. Oh, no, what just happened? Something just happened. I'm not sure what. My controller disconnected and reconnected. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, anyway, next time, um, I guess maybe we'll move forward over to this area, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll look for this thing and see if there's any reason to look at it. I don't know. Come back next time. If you want. It'd be cool if you did. Thanks for watching. See you next time.